how do you make a dotted line in InDesign? This video is gonna show you exactly how to do that, both dotted and dashed. It's a little different than Illustrator, especially when we get to editing the space between the dots. Let me show you what I mean. We have a new blank document open here in InDesign. I need some kind of a line. Now that could be a shape that's the stroke around the shape. In the properties panel, you'll see your fill and stroke. Every line that we're gonna be dealing with when we make it dotted, it'll have to do with the stroke itself. So we could use the line tool as well. We've got a line there and we can also use the pin tool, clicking and dragging to make ourselves some curved lines. Now, if we zoom in here, Z is the shortcut key and I can click and drag to zoom in and out. I could grab one of these lines with the selection tool, shortcut key is V, click on stroke in your appearance panel or go up to window and open up the stroke panel, which is this panel right here. Now you can adjust the weight of this stroke like so. And then we can also adjust the type and under type, it's like a stroke style. Lots of different styles you can create your own. We'll get into that here in a sec, but we could pick dashed or dotted. Let's make a dotted line. Just like that, we have a dotted line. Now you'll notice that the dots get bigger and smaller with the stroke weight going up and down. I'm just clicking the arrow keys up and down to make these dots bigger and smaller. But what if you wanted a certain size of dot and you wanted to adjust the space between those dots? To do that, we actually need to come up here to the little hamburger menu and go to stroke styles. Once we have stroke styles open, we're gonna create a new style. And under type, you can select either dash or dotted or even stripe, depending on what you're doing. Let's go with dotted because we're gonna try to adjust what we have out here. The pattern length is like the adjustment of the space between the gaps. So this is a pattern. It basically places this between itself over and over again. So this is the space, and you can see a ruler here, of how far between each dot we're setting this. So we can up this, and you can see the preview panel down here, and you can adjust the preview weight. So you could make this weight, let's say 15 points, and then adjust the space between the dots right here, just like that. You can hold shift and press the arrow key to create even more space or just use the arrows to adjust. Now, once you have that adjusted, you can hit OK, hit OK again. This is a new stroke style. And then we can go back up to type and we have our new stroke styles down here. So this is the one we just made. The dots are very far apart. We can drop our points down and see that they're still the same distance apart. We can increase the size of our points. And then I've created another new stroke style here that's even different than the standard dotted one. So you can create these different styles with the distance between the dots and make those adjustments underneath that new stroke style option. So that's how you would create a dotted line or even a dashed line. And you can make all those adjustments in the stroke styles. If you want this to be thinner, you can drop down the points. So the width of the dash stays the same, but as you increase the weight, sort of the height of it, adjusts, which means you can make that look uh, any different way that you want. Now, something that's different on dashed lines versus dotted lines is this section right here, which would be the dash and the gap and the dash and the gap. You can actually make this adjustment just like in Illustrator. So one thing we could do is adjust the caps. Now you'll see that the dashes are rounded on the end, and you could actually create sort of your own dotted line just by decreasing this down to one point and then increasing the gap between each up to whatever setting you'd like. So between the dash, the gap, and the weight, you can play around with these to get the look that you're exactly going for, whether it's a dashed line or a dotted line, just by changing that here. And if you want to save a certain preset, just go back up to those stroke styles and you can edit that there. Now you can always get rid of that rounded cap just by adjusting your cap size here. And then you might need to go back in and readjust the different gaps and dash and weight of your dashed or dotted line right here. Anyway, that's how to create a dotted line or a dashed line here in Adobe InDesign.